Hello children, this is Dimple from Dimple's Joy of Storytelling and today I've come with a new story in level 7 and the name of the story is The Meeting of the Mice. All the little house mice lived under the kitchen floor in a big white house. Outside the mouse hole, which was the door of their house, sat a fat cat waiting. The mice sat in their house under the floor. Old mouse peered through the hole. That cat is there again, he said. Outside the big white house, a bird was flying here and there. He flew near to the house. Bird, bird, can you hear me? said the old mouse from inside his mouse house. Yes, yes, I hear you. Oh, I hear you, old mouse, said bird. Will you please do something for us, said old mouse. I'll do anything. I can, anything I can, said bird. Will you please call a meeting of the mice? Will you ask them to meet here at our house tonight? Yes, I will. Yes, I will, replied the bird. So, the bird flew away. At last, he came to a corn field where some little field mice were eating corn. Bird flew down and the field mice stopped to listen. All the mice must come to a meeting, to a meeting tonight, tonight, tonight. And where is the meeting going to be, Bird? said Big Field Mouse. Under the kitchen floor. Under the kitchen floor, in the big white house, big white house, said Bird. And he flew away. He did the part of a messenger. Night came and the cat went to her bed to go to sleep. Purr, purr, purr. The field mice ran into the big house and through the hole into the mouse house. They all sat down together. There is a fat cat that sits outside a door every day, said Old Mouse. We know, said the middle field mouse. We know because that cat sits in our field of corn too, said little field mouse. Something has to be done about that cat, said, said the big field mouse. That is exactly I have called this meeting. We must do something, said Old Mouse. I know exactly what to do. We must get a bell. If we have a bell, we can put it around the cat's neck. Any old bell will do. Any bell at all, said Big Field Mouse. There must be a bell somewhere in this big house. The mice went to look for a bell. There should be something here in the kitchen, said Big Field Mouse. There's nothing here. Not even a bit of corn. Not even a bit of cake. Not even any bread, said Little Field Mouse. The bell, the bell. Don't forget what we're looking for, said Old Mouse. As soon as they saw, they started searching. They started searching for food because mice are always hungry. Brr, brr, brr. What's that I hear? asked Big Field Mouse. It's the cat, said Old Mouse. When we hear her purr, we know she's asleep in her bed. Maybe there is something in these boxes. So the mice looked through the boxes. Here's something, said Small Mouse. See what I have found. Listen. He rang a little bell, very little bell. A little bell, said Big Field Mouse. That's a bell for a cat. It's exactly what we want. Let's see what they find. Burr, burr, burr. Hurry, hurry, said Big Field Mouse. They went through the hole and into the mouse house. They all sat down together. I've been thinking, this is a great thing, 
said, uh, said small mouse. Yes, now we have a bell for the cat, said middle field mouse. May I say something, said small mouse. He rang the bell softly. Please may I ask something? Ask anything you wish, said old mouse. Who will put the bell on the cat? Who will bell the cat? Asked small mouse. Not I, said big field mouse. Not I, said middle field mouse. Not I, said little field mouse. Not I, said all the house mice. It makes me frightened. I'm trembling even to think about it, said small mouse. Then we can do nothing, said old mouse. He rang the bell softly. Yes, it's very easy to think of an idea. But to do it, well, that's 